Adan's YouTube platform. I'm Ragni Kumari, first year MBBA student from GMC Vaidya. I'm going to share my experience on the chapter Digestion and Absorption from the unit Human Physiology. So, first of all, we know about Human Physiology and the role that we play in the meat. It carries 13 questions per year in meat whole syllabus. And it, uh, its status is 20% in the whole bio, uh, biology syllabus. So let's come to the point digestion and absorption. We all need energy for doing different kinds of work. And from where do we get the energy? Of course from the food. So the major constituent of food is carbohydrate, fat and protein. These are the major constituent of food. While vitamins and minerals are the minor constituent. So we can't take the food which can be directly utilized by ourselves. The complex food substances that is called the biomacromolecules Biomicromolecules cannot be directly utilized by ourselves. So these complex food substances have to be converted into simpler absorbable form that can be easily utilized. So this process is known as digestion. So what is, the, what is digestion? Digestion is the conversion of complex food substances into into the simpler absorbable form. This process is known as digestion. This digestion occurs in our digestive system by the help of two methods, mechanical method and biochemical method. Mechanical method is the physical method, like when we chew the food, then it gets broken down into smaller particles. That is the mechanical method. But what is biochemical method? In biochemical method, food gets broken down into simpler and simpler nutrients that is utilized by ourselves. For example, when we chew the food, then first enzyme is tiny, which breaks down the food. Then, then the use of the enzyme in breaking down the food, that is the biochemical method. So, okay, the digestion occurs in our digestive system. So, obviously, we have to focus on the digestive system. The digestive system consists of two parts. Elementary canal and the digestive gland. So in this video, we will mainly focus on the elementary canal. So at first, let's take the overlook on the pathway, how the food enters and how it exits. So, the elementary canal starts with the mouth, okay, and it opens out with anus which is located posteriorly while the mouth is located anteriorly. So, first of all, our bhojan mouth se enter karta hai, uske baad ye pharynx mein jata hai. Pharynx, it is the common pathway for both food and air. This will be the first point. That it is the common pathway for both food and air. Okay? Now, so uh, if this is the common pathway, then the air can enter into the esophagus and uh, food can enter into the trachea. It can happen. But to prevent this, while uh, like when we are swallowing the food, so to prevent the food entry into the trachea, there is one of a cartilaginous flap. Why flap? Taki जो हमारा फूड है वो विंड पाइप विंड पाइप के ओपनिंग को हम लोग ग्लोटिस कहते हैं ठीक है तो ग्लोटिस इस तरफ लोकेटेड होगा और व्हेन वी स्वैलो द फूड देन टू प्रिवेंट द एंट्री ऑफ द फूड इनटू द ग्लोटिस एरिया देयर इज द कार्टिलेजनस फ्लैप दैट इज नोन एज एपिग्लोटिस सो द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वुड बी द एपिग्लोटिस व्हिच प्रिवेंट्स द 
entry of food into the glottis. That is the opening of the windpipe. In the same way, to prevent the entry of air into the esophagus, there is the uh, there is ovular type structure. Okay. Now, uh, after the food enters the pharynx, it enters the esophagus. Esophagus is twenty five centimeter long. Tubular, long tubular structure, and uh, uh, the the passage of food in the esophagus is by the peristaltic movement. Okay. Uske movement ko hum peristaltic movement karte hain. Now this the food from the esophagus enters into the stomach and uh, with the help of the gastro esophageal sphincter gastro esophageal स्पिंटर क्या है स्पिंटर एक मस्कुलर रिंग के जैसा है जो कि वो बॉडी में ओपन करता है ठीक है तो फिर आ, वो आ, मतलब ओपन क्लोज कर सकता है तो फिर फूड इसोफेगल से स्टमक में जाता है और उसके बीच में गैस्ट्रो इसोफेगल स्पिंटर है नाउ दिस फूड फ्रॉम द इसोफेगस ओपन नियर द कार्डियक पार्ट सो स्टमक में जो uh, जो पार्ट होते हैं तो यहाँ पे आपका जहाँ पे इसोफेगस खुलता है दैट इज द कार्डियक पार्ट ठीक है and here will be the fundic part and in the lower portion there will be the pyloric part so the fundic part is the main part of the stomach hum log fundic part ko main part kyu bol rahe hain because baaki sare parts mein to simple glands hote hain lekin fundic part mein simple glands ke sath sath compound glands bhi hote hain jisme various type of cells paaye jaate hain like mucus cell ऑक्सेंटिक सेल चीफ सेल जो कि हम लोग बाद में डिटेल में पढ़ेंगे सो दिस इज वाई फंटिक इज द मेन पार्ट ऑफ द स्टमक सो आफ्टर स्टमक द फूड गोज इन द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस स्पिंटर यर द पायलोरिक रीजन ऑफ द स्टमक इज प्रेजेंट सो फ्रॉम द पायलोरिक इट इंटर्स द डोर एन ऑफ दिस इज वाई दिस इज दिस स्पिंटर इज नोन एज Pyloric sphincter. Okay. <coughs> Now after stomach, the food will enter into the small intestine. It's it's okay. But uh, this small intestine is divided into three parts. This part is known as duodenum. Okay. Um, uh, which is C shaped. The stomach is J shaped. and it is present near the upper left portion of the abdomen in the upper left portion upper left portion of abdomen so uh, where were we yeah uh, we were in the duodenum duodenum is c shaped and this portion is it is jejunum and this part of small intestine is ileum Jejunum is long coiled structure while ileum is highly coiled structure. ठीक है? आह हाँ. Please note here that ileum in ileum there is e. यहाँ पे e है. Please आप आह वो जो कि hip bone में है इससे confuse मत होना. ठीक है? तो फिर small intestine से अब हमारा food आता है large intestine में. तो सबसे पहले ये ileum exit. So here will be the portion of the uh, first portion of the large intestine that is cecum cecum is the blind sac and it hosts some of the symbiotic microorganism there is the projection of cecum that is the vermiform appendix it is the vestigial organ okay so there is there is no use of vermiform appendix so it is known as the vestigial organ so after cecum the food enters into the colon this is the ascending colon transverse colon descending colon then sigmoid colon term in that term fecal is temporarily stored and from there the uh, this fecal matter exit through anus in colon 
maximum absorption of water take place. So uh, we have taken the overview of the elementary phenomena. 